Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out this video. And today we are going to talk about one of my favorite subject matters when it comes to street photography, and that is reflections, in particular window reflections. And I'm going to talk about why I love window reflections and why I use them so much. I think there's a number of things that can really benefit, benefit a street photographer if they're doing uh, window reflections. And one of the things that I like about them right off the top is that they're unique. And we're living in an in a age where literally billions and billions of photos are out there being seen on social media. And reflections, window reflections are just something that is, is rarely, rarely uploaded. And when you see them, they're usually, you know, from a street photographer. So I really like the fact that amongst all the billions of photos out there, window reflections are pretty rare. Um, I mean, you'll see some in, you know, in nature photography, of course. Um, I have one that um, I haven't sold in a while, but I think it's in my, in my nature bin when I do art shows of a water reflection of some clouds and it's a nice shot but you know you you do see kind of the, the same stuff with uh with, nat with nature you know with water reflections but um the thing that i love about window reflections when it comes to street photography is sort of the ability to i guess i'll call it you know work a window um and you know you, you've got a window there you can certainly try to focus on or get some of what's inside the window and then also what the reflection is and that can change by the hour that can change by you know is it sunny out um, is it cloudy out what is on the inside what's being reflected what time of day is it I mean you could go to the same window at 9 a.m. and then go at 11 and then go at 1 and go at 5 and get you know completely different images um, and the angle of light the body position where you are I mean, you can turn this way and what's the angle of light? You can move to the side a little bit or back or forward, capture what's inside or outside depending on the light. So the ability to like spend 10 or 15 minutes on a window I think is really neat. And you know, that of course can change whether or not, if there's people inside the window, is it a restaurant? Is it like a, is it like a resale shop where everything is kind of still? Um, and they've changed that so what is on the inside and the reflection you can end up telling a different story and so i think the ability to just create a lot of different things and work that window is really neat and i think the other thing that that you can do with window reflection is you know you can also start to play with colors and shapes and get almost abstract kind of stuff um i know you know ernst haas one of my favorite photographers he really like to work color with reflections and have these kind of shapes of people and the colors of their coats and he would also do things with water you know just water like reflecting a bridge um, and you would just have that and it got almost abstract again where you're just kind of dealing with colors and shapes and you kind of have to figure things out i think that's one of the other things i love about window reflections and reflections in, in general but especially window reflections as a street photographer is that you can create an image that doesn't necessarily like jump out at you and say, here's the focal point or here's the story of the image. And sometimes you have to make the viewer sort of do some work. There's sort of some confusion there and you have to make the viewer and yourself as well, obviously, piece it together and explore the image. And I know I have a shot that I really love. I'm thinking about going big with it at my next art show of some umbrellas, which are another one of my favorite subject matters a bunch of umbrellas reflected in a window and you've just got all these colors and you've got you know part of the building and you can see one guy's hand you know holding an umbrella and there's just you know you you start to explore the image more it doesn't always jump right out at you and sometimes you can make it simple but you can also make it more complicated and make the viewer work a little bit or just make it about colors um, and so I think there's a lot there. The other thing you can do with window reflections that I love to do is that I'm big on self-portraits. And I think, you know, when you're in a smaller city like I am in Appleton, um, there's not always people around. And so I like to have a human element in there. And sometimes I want to, I put myself in there. I'll put myself off to the side or I, I will make it about me and I'll just stand there and hold the camera up 
or I'll hold it, you know, at my chest level and look into the window reflection. I'm like, I'm looking at the viewer of the photograph. Um, and so you can really do neat things. I mean, if there's a mirror that's also facing, I've done like double exposures and we're going to go to the computer and we're going to look at some of Ernst Haas, Haas's stuff and some of my stuff as well. But I think the ability to do all that and then add yourself to the image if you want as a self-portrait. Uh, Lee Freelander did that all the time, uh, even in black and white. He was always doing self-portraits. Uh, Vivian Mayer did the same thing. She has a ton of self-portraits of her, in, especially in black and white, but even in color, um, of her reflected in like a window or a mirror or whatever. And so um, I really suggest that if it's not something you're comfortable with, is to just spend some time working a window. Um, and then cross the street and work a different window and just um, you could even experiment I haven't done this lately and I think I should is experiment with slow shutter speeds and a window like is there a person walking by or a vehicle walking by or should I move the camera a little bit at, with a slow shutter speed and really make it even more abstract so I just think there's a lot of possibilities it's one of my favorite subject matters I know some some of the best street photographers around have obviously shot windows and have window reflections, um, especially with architecture, like when we look at some of Ernst Haas's work here and a couple of my images that, you know, you have big buildings or semi-big buildings with a lot of windows and you can reflect what is in that architecture and show all sorts of things. So something to, to consider and explore, and it's a fairly safe subject matter. You know, if you are a shy street photographer and you're not comfortable yet, with photographing a lot of people or being seen photographing people or whatever windows and window reflections are a great way to go so um, let's head over to the desktop let's run through uh, some example of uh, window reflections okay let's take a look first at some window reflections of Ernst Haas and this one I had earlier in my video just really cool shapes colors even slow shutter speed with the cabs going by just really nice um, this is, get this one a little bigger. Here's some of that architecture, like really neat angle. Like he just has these lines going. Obviously it's, you got converging buildings and lines and just in the, even the color with the green, it's almost monochrome two-tone, just really nice stuff there. Here's one we saw earlier with the bridge reflected in the water. Similar idea here. I really like the people in this one, but you see these this reflection in the water. So not a window reflection, but still a reflection. This one's neat. You know, it's raining. You know, the idea of using puddles um, and just having the legs of this person walking through is really neat. This is one of my all-time favorites. I just absolutely love this. I love the perspective. He's obviously up high and shooting this angle and getting all the colors of this these taxis, and they're almost filling like lanes in the windows of this building just really great and you got people down here too i mean just outstanding here's that kind of abstract if I, I and i'm struggling here with this like is this a painting inside and then this is reflected like it just here's city over here and you have some people and then you have this country scene over here and this bird and it's just really interesting really like the contrast and the colors this is the Twin Towers, actually. Here's a, a puddle reflection of some buildings and of, you know, this, this man standing here. Another great architecture reflection with this, looks like standard sign, uh, gas station sign up there. But look how it distorts everything. This building st um, starts to become, you know, non-reality. There's another one at night with these, with the lights lighting up this different, these different windows. Really nice here. Okay, this is some of my stuff now. This is um, in Madison, actually. This is the Capitol building reflected in like one of the buildings. It's got you know, kind of like two window things here. I think it's because this one wraps around and then this is a new building, but just nice distorted Capitol building. Again, I really like this one because of like each of the windows has this little sort of scene from the city. Just very nice stuff there. This is a reflection of a huge building 
um, near downtown and there's a park right there across when they were having a concert and I just really like again all the colors down here all the people this is fairly simple up here but you do have to make sense of all these lines and then there's trees so you do have again a contrast of sort of like urban and then some nature um, really nice I like that one I, I sold that one last month at Art of the Park here's a selfie you know again distorted lines I'm all distorted I got these really wide shoulders as my waist and my legs taper down this one's really neat I just I like the colors this was shot at a farmers market here in Appleton it just you got these color streaks going through the window and the lights light fixtures inside the window and you've got some nature with the trees and you just again you have to kind of piece this together and spend some time with it here's just a couple joggers that I got reflected in a window and they're kind of blurry and everything there's nothing really tack sharp in here I just kind of like the movement of it all this one I really like called legs. Here's a here's a woman inside, and I'm photographing that, but the reflection angle is getting the crosswalk and this guy here walking. So I have two sets of legs going through. I really like that one. This one again, you know, trying to make sense of it. Like here's the restaurant with the plants inside and the light fixture, but the brick pillar here is what's being reflected, and it kind of covers along with the plant covers up her face of this woman eating lunch. There's one where I just simply put myself in a mirror as this car is turning into the garage. This is um, one of my favorite reflections. This is a newer building and it's reflecting the old building across the street. So I call this one old and new, really like that one. Here's just a simple self portrait with a, with a puddle and having a building and myself taking a picture with my blue shoes. Another self portrait here, I sort of divided the, the photo in half. Here's some arrows pointing to different locations parking the YMCA the library and I'm here shooting a vertical and then you can see two you see just part of a person there and then another person here sort of where I put myself in her outline again having a piece together and figure out the reflection this one I showed earlier just shooting straight at and I waited for this woman to walk by this is one of these again you have to figure out he's sitting on these steps but it looks like he's sitting on a table and this big plant is what's being reflected um, or sorry he's being reflected and the building's being reflected as I'm shooting into the building where the table and the huge potted plant are here's just a simple like snow covered window and me putting myself in the other half I think I showed this one before just kind of the confusion I'm splitting it the ain't the windows are kind of at different angles so I'm getting two different things I'm getting cars that are running into one another and you know this biker going by Here's a simple one I like. It's just a wedding dress. That's all that's really in the window is a wedding dress. But across the street is the mail delivery truck and the mailman picking up the mail. And that's really it for reflection. So it's, uh, again, it's a great subject matter to explore. Lots of possibilities, lots of variety. Definitely suggest that you uh, shoot some window reflections and mirror reflections and water reflections where you wherever you have stuff downtown. So hope that helps you out. Give me a thumbs up. Check out my links below, including my two books for sale on Amazon. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. We'll check you later. Bye-bye.